Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today I'm going to take a training on what is an umbrella insurance policy. Basically, we call umbrella insurance as an excess liability insurance, which means additional liability insurance. So we have to understand what is a liability insurance before understanding what is an umbrella insurance. Liability insurance is nothing but something bad happens to others due to you or your organization as a result of negligence. Let's take an example. Say you drive your car and accidentally while driving, you hit others and as a result, they got injured. Now you are responsible for their damage. So that is the scenario where you will use liability insurance. So if you take your personal auto insurance, you'll have two parts to it. One is the first party, which is nothing but the property insurance. The second category is liability insurance. Otherwise, you call it as casualty insurance or third party, which will take care of any injury that happens to others due to your negligence. Now, if you take your policy, like in any kind of homeowners or personal auto or general liability, there will be something like limits, liability limits. It will say like 500K or 300K, which means that is the total limit the insurance company is going to pay in case if you cause injury to others due to your negligence. What happens for some scenarios if it is more than that, then it is your responsibility as an insurer to take care of that expenses. Most of the scenarios like if you drive your personal auto, if you hit others and unfortunately if the other passenger died or there is a permanent disability to them, in those scenarios the legal cost is going to be too high where your current policy, personal auto policy is not going to bear that amount. So in those scenarios, we have to bring in umbrella policy, which means the umbrella policy's core functionality or core work is to argue additional liability limits. In this case, if you see this example, if you have a personal auto policy and you have a limit, single liability, combined single liability limit of 500K, which means at any occurrence, any scenario, the insurance company is going to pay the maximum of 500K. If it's going to be greater than 500K, then the insured have to take the responsibility. So it is going to be more cost and it's going to be more risky to the insured. In those scenarios, you need to buy umbrella policy, which will be an underlying policy to your core policy. If you have a personal auto policy, you can go to insurance company saying that I need an umbrella policy for an additional 1 million. So that what will happen if in this scenario, if you have 500K as your core policy and you can add umbrella policy for 1 million, which will pull your liability limits to 1.5 million. So if you see the second example in your homeowner's policy, say you have your home for some reason, something that you have in your backyard, a kind of tree or something fell on your neighbor's backyard and it injured your neighbor severely that could result in more and more of liability, like court cost, defense cost, and everything else. So in this case, if you have an underlying umbrella, which gives you more liability limit, that will end up having more liability limit and you will not be at much risk. General liability, again, in commercial lines also, like you know, if something happens to your customers due to your faulty products, or somebody come have come to your office and they got injured and you have a lesser aggregate limit in your core general liability, you can use an umbrella policy to add additional liability policies so that your limits can be more. In this case, you have an overall aggregate limit. Aggregate limit is the total limit that the insurance company is going to pay and you have 600K. Now, in case if you have an umbrella, you can add additional 3 million, which will pull you to 3.6 million. Basically, umbrella policy is used only for increasing the liability limits and the core functionality here is if your underlying policy does not have enough liability limit and if you feel that you need more, based on your personal needs, you can use umbrella policy as an underlying liability policy. I hope you like my training videos. If you like my training videos, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.